folks, Kevin here again. I'm out camping in the winter landscape this time. I'm in a national park called Teo National Park. And I'm in a lean-to again because the ground has gone quite hard now because uh, it's frozen. So uh, this is the lazy option. I drove here quite late in the evening. So when I arrived, it was already pitch black. Hiked about three kilometers in to this lava or lean-to shelter and um, I'll stay here tonight and then continue on the trail tomorrow hopefully to do um, about another 10 kilometers before getting back to the car I'm going in a loop around this lake tomorrow should be interesting there is snow on the ground already and uh, the lake is frozen it's not super cold just yet it is approximately minus two degrees so my finished sanders, that's not very cold at all. I've got enough layer, layers of clothes on, and luckily I have the fire. I also wanted to try on this trip a light system that I made. So basically it's a light strip that you can buy. Usually they're bought so you can stick them behind your TV and backlight your TV. So, and it's just a, some silicon pipe. And uh, I put some clear shrink wrap around the ends of the both of the ends of the pipe to keep any water out or at least keep it some way water resistant and then I don't know if you can see that I have a small battery pack and a USB cable that just plugs in actually the battery pack is showing that it's almost empty so um, we'll see what happens when it gets completely empty but all in all I'm very pleased with it Right, I'm ready for bed. It's all tucked up. I have my Mia Xtherm. Now is a good time to put it through its paces and see if it'll keep me warm. So let's see. I bought a, a balaclava to keep my my head warm along with this fleece cap because apparently you're not supposed to stick your head inside the sleeping quilt because it makes it damp inside so you're supposed to keep your face outside at all times so I thought that rather than freeze my face off I get this balaclava and I'll become the orange ninja okay I look like a tit but hey if it works I'm not going to complain too much so yeah I'll say good night and I'll hopefully get some more footage from around the lake and the rest of the walk tomorrow. And I'll give you a small tour of uh, this particular lava or lean to shelter. So, yeah. Sleep tight. See you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. So here we are in lovely Teo National Park and I am standing on the shores of a small lake here. I stayed last night in a lavu or lean-to shelter on the shores of this lake and the name of the lavu is called Teri Sari. Teri is a black grouse um, and Sari is an island. So I guess this headland where the lean-to shelter or lava is now was once actually an island in the lake so the lake is frozen as you can see the ice isn't very thick I'm not gonna risk walking on it I managed to be able to break some ice last night so I could get some water from my water filter uh, and there are some tracks on the ice that looks like somebody has walked across already but uh, I'm not gonna take the risk let's go and have a look at this Lean to or lava. Okay. So it's quite similar to the place I was before. Bit larger though, and 
Um, also, the fireplace is better appointed. There is uh, a typical slanted roof. And there is the usual bucket for putting a fire out, if necessary. Here we have the fireplace. This is quite a nice setup. You have a plate for keeping the actual fire dry or stop it from going out if it rains. You have an actual metal grill then for putting your sausages on or grilling sausages. Finns absolutely love sausages or makra in Finnish. Um, it's one of their favorite foods when they go camping or hiking. And then you have the fireplace, the fireplace itself. And of course, you also have these hooks that you can hang your uh, your kettle on so that you can boil your boil your tea or boil your hot water for coffee and actually there's a a frying pan and a coffee pot here which looks like it's seen quite a lot of use it's about nine o'clock i'm just getting my breakfast done this morning is going to be porridge instant porridge uh coffee and uh just to spice things up a bit i've got these peanut butter snickers bars Chop up one very fine and then mix it into the porridge. I'm not sure if it's going to be disgusting or nice, but uh, I guess we'll see. As you can see from my breath, it's quite cold this morning. Uh, as far as I know, it's still about minus two, possibly even colder. I was quite cold last night. The sleeping quilt has like these straps that go around and it seems they need to be really cinched down tight so that you don't get drafts coming under the quilt and then onto you. Most of me was warm but in at least one spot about halfway down I had a cold spot right in the middle of my back over my kidneys so I was constantly turning all night so yeah I didn't sleep great last night though but it's okay it's okay I'm otherwise quite pleased with the gear but my sleeping quilt is rated for minus six and uh, yeah I'm, I think I'm starting to push the boundaries of what's actually comfortable area that surrounds the lake and uh, they put in duck boards to keep you dry in case the water level is high but it also means that in case of our areas where there are rare plants it keeps walkers from walking on them and uh, putting them under too much pressure so yeah really pretty area tracker but uh, I'm pretty sure that these are either deer or potentially even moose track you can see that the two marks where the, the hooves hit the ground and they're fairly fresh probably done last night or possibly this morning there is also hair here and some mouse tracks and I think somebody's been walking, it's either a fox. Uh, you can see that there. That's been trotting or possibly running. Um, I don't think it's a dog because there's no human tracks with it. So, and stray dogs aren't really a thing in Finland. So I have to keep my eyes open. I don't want to come face to face with a moose. It's incredible these pine trees how they are darker gray 
near the base and they go to almost like a light brown as you go farther up the trunk. Very beautiful. Phew. I just walked a long bit of clay road that went through fields and past greenhouses and things. Fairly flat walking and fairly easy walking, but otherwise kind of boring. I think I took a turn, turn somewhere by mistake and ended up taking that road. Luckily though, I have a GPS, so I managed to get back onto the trail again. So I'm back in the woods, which is nice. Uh, hard to believe it's actually just gone midday. Uh, and this is about as bright as it's going to get today. So from now on until about you know, half a three, four o'clock, it's going to get, get slowly and progressively grayer and darker. So uh, I've got about, I think, three, maybe four kilometers left to do. Uh, so all good. Let's keep going. Okay, so this just confirms that I'm going to Milo Nummi. Nummi is a heath, by the way. Uh, yeah, I've got about four, a little over four kilometers still to walk. Damn, I thought I was closer than that. Oh well. So, I have to follow these orange colored diamonds. As you can see there, there's some on the tree, so I've got to keep my eye out for those. That will bring me back to Milo Nummi, where the, my car is parked. Finland's landscape is heavily influenced by glaciation and this large boulder is what's known as an erratic um, and it's been brought from somewhere else some maybe up to 100 kilometers away maybe more maybe less by a glacier and then dropped again so uh, yeah this is a relatively small one they can be as big as buses and uh, the largest ones in Finland are as large as houses so uh, it just makes your mind boggle the sheer power of a glacier to pick up these massive boulders and transport them tens or even hundreds of kilometers. Oh, I'm gonna get covered in snow. Eat. So here we are at a high point along the trail. Yeah, I decided to stop have a little break. So I just discovered on my phone that there's a geocache quite, quite close. So I think I'm going to try and nab that while I'm on the trail. Okay, and there is a pen. Done, another one for the collection. Done. Okay folks, so just finished the hike, uh, it's approximately 11 kilometers. Yeah, all in all, it was a, a really good hike and I would definitely do it again. So. That's me done for the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next trail. All the best. Bye bye.